gonna try to move this a little bit closer. Maybe a little bit this way. Hello, hello, hello. Am I lined up with the... I wanna be able to read comments should they come in. So I'll give it a few minutes. Um, see if anyone joins. Hey, what's up, bud? Lapras, hello. So hopefully I can, the camera interface is a little bit far away, so hopefully I can still see the comments and reply to you in time. I'll give it a few minutes. <laughs> Thank you, bud. So I have a pretty massive HLJ box here. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. Hello, AJ. So, pretty massive HLJ box. Going to open that up. Not sure what that is. Um, it had been a while since I shipped, so this thing's pretty massive. Uh, so, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and get started. Before I open the box, I want to show a couple other random things that I got recently. Got this from Amazon Japan. Very excited about this. Um, it was like a third-party seller on Amazon Japan, but, uh, pronounced? Oh, sorry, am I missing comments already? Lipez. Okay, I apologize. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, bud. Very nice. Thank you very much. Um, so I got this. I'm very excited about this. This was like a Toys R Us exclusive in Japan, uh, so it was going to be very difficult to get. Because you had to be like a child. I think you had to wear the driver into a Toys R Us in Japan. And uh, then they would sell you this. So obviously I, I do not have the ability to do that. I do think it's awesome that the giraffe was exclusive to Toys R Us though. Makes sense. But uh, I was able to get this for a pretty decent price actually. It was like 5 or $8 over the normal cost of a, of a uh, progress key. So look for a review of that coming soon. Uh, I also got this magazine. That comes with the reuse sole over here, as you can see. And there's a lot of great pictures in here. I'll do a review of this as well. And we'll check out the, uh, the reuse sole over here. Um, let's see what else did I get. I, I don't know. Randomly, they had a deal on Black Friday on Hasbro Pulse um, to get 20% off your whole order. And I went on there mostly to pre-order Transformers, but... I was looking through the Star Wars stuff, and I don't know, this caught my eye, so I grabbed it. I always liked her in the Hoth outfit, so I just decided to grab it. Sorry, I'm missing comments here. You're going to see me scroll up. Uh, I can't wait for those reviews you said you're going to do. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, I'm really excited to review the, the giraffe key. I think that's going to be fun. Uh, I found this at Walmart today. I had no idea uh, that this guy was a deluxe. I thought he was uh, like a scout class. So, finally found Gnaw, so we'll see how he is. The last time we had a Gnaw was in Titan's Return, I think. Actually, he's right here. So here we go. Here's the Titan's Return Gnaw. Here is the uh, Cyberverse Deluxe. So we'll see how that goes. Put him back on the shelf here. Oh, thank you, AJ. What Toku are you currently watching? Hi, Psycho. Hey, Cody Wilson. What's up, Cody? Uh, what Toku am I currently watching? I guess Garo. I guess Garo is... I mean, obviously, I'm watching the current ones, like... Um, well, I'm trying to watch Taiga, but they haven't subbed it in a while. I'm up to six, through 16 on Taiga. Obviously, watching Ryu Soldier and Zero One as they air. Zero One's really good. Uh, but I've been watching Garo. <laughs> Cody, this might be uh, definitely, if it's not the last, it's going to be one of the last because I'm going to lose this capability soon, and it's kind of a bummer. Also, these were a, like an impulse buy, but uh, I thought Imaginex was pretty much dead, but then they did Lobo with his motorcycle, so that's kind of crazy to me. Hey, Felix. So, I, I don't know, I decided to grab it. 
It comes with a little bulldog. And then also they did this little two-pack, which I don't really care about the Harley, because I have plenty of Harleys, but they did Black Mask. So, I was down for Black Mask. I feel like you could also uh, repurpose him as, like, uh, the Negative Man from Spider-Man. So you got, like, a two for there. Have you looked at Twitch yet? No, I mean, maybe for streams I might do Twitch. Um, videos and stuff I'll probably still do YouTube, but we'll, I don't know. We're going to see how it goes. I don't know what's going to happen with this. Uh, I love Lobo and his dog. I forgot his name. I love it. Do a review, please. Uh, do you have Max Russell Changer? Daniel, funny you should ask. Max Russell, la, la, la. Max Russell Changer should be in this box that we're opening right now. So we will see it. So let's go ahead. I think that's all the stuff I got. I got a bunch of... These were random too. I'm going to show you these real quick. So BBTS um, randomly found these old Toy Biz toys. These are from the 90s. So I got a couple of these just for fun. They're like $10 a piece. There's a couple that I never got. I looked at this. I got a Spidey. His The, the screws in his leg are all rusted out. So that's kind of a bummer. But I got those in a box from... Uh, BBTS with some new Masters of the Universe stuff uh, because like I literally ran out of time on the, the private warehouse or whatever so I, I had to ship it what do they what do they call they don't call it private warehouse they call it a pile of loot so I, I absolutely had their like look you're out of time you got to ship it so I was like all right <laughs> so let me see here uh, Pokemon sword yeah it's not bad I just started it last night, funnily enough that you should ask. Right. We're going to see how we can make this work. I need to bend the box but so it doesn't kick the camera stand. Please stand by. Right. Is that going to cause a problem? No? Maybe? We're good? Okay. John Hendricks, what's up, buddy? What do I think of Common Rider Zero One, uh, the new form? It's very excellent. I like it very much. I was actually just showing it off. It is the star of this magazine that I got. <laughs> it looks awesome. I really, it's very very cool. Yeah, pretty much, John. All I did so far was show off a couple things that I picked up that were not box related. So we got. Packaging, packaging, packaging. Some of this stuff's been moving around a little bit. Well, anyway, here's the first thing. Ooh. So we got black arachnia, which I have to say, this looks pretty awesome. So she will add to my collection of Beast Wars figures that I haven't opened yet. Because I have Dinobot and I have Megatron. I will admit with Megatron, I'm afraid. Because so many people after they opened them were like, oh, his hips break or his hips do this. And I'm just like, eee. Now I'm afraid to open it. So much packaging. I'm out, I'm out of room. Uh, so you're going to laugh at this, but the, the very... F oh, no. Well, that came off. The very first thing in my HLJ box, Star Wars toys, obviously. Um, they had some sale. This just This came completely off. That's how old the glue is. Basically, they had some Star Wars toys as part of their, like, crazy Black Friday clearance deal. You can see the backs all in Japanese, which is kind of hilarious. Did they give me Kit Kats? I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. I didn't get there yet, but I'll take a look. Mount, hold on, what does it say? Mount Mini Plot and Mount Beast Wars Masterpiece Figures. Cody... Megatron is part of Mount St. Miniplot. He's built into the base of it. He's very integral. Uh, integral? In, intricate? Whatever. He's a main part of it. In any case, so they had uh, some Black Friday sales and they had a couple Star Wars things and they were all like a couple dollars a piece. Here is uh, a Bespin Luke with some kind of weird contraption. He was like three bucks. Um... This guy, who I'm not really sure, Constable Zuvio? No idea who that is. He was like a buck fifty. So apparently you have to buy the... Oh, you buy these three guys and their stuff all hooks together? I don't know, man. I don't know. 
That contraption is kind of awesome. Yeah, this is uh, Resistance Trooper. He was also like $1.50. So I got a couple random Star Wars things. Oh, I actually got this too. This was like 4 bucks. This is uh, Elite Speeder Bike. So this is kind of cool. This is like a whole vehicle. It's a speeder bike with an Elite Trooper. All for like 4 bucks. It's hard to even tell that this is... Oh, here you go. It has a sticker on the bottom. That's how you know it was a Japanese release. I guess it's just like Hasbro made the toys and Takara was like, alright, we'll release them over here. We got Star Wars fans. Nintendo uploaded a video judging by the thumbnail Star Fox 2 is coming to SNES online. Well, that's something nobody asked for. I don't know. I gotta be honest. I played it as part of the uh, SNES Classic and uh, wasn't that impressed with it. I have a question. Do you know who Clayface is? Uh, yeah, of course I know who Clayface is. <laughs> I would argue... Well, I mean, it's free, so go ahead and play it for free. I got some detail on Hero Books from HLJ, 50% off. Oh, nice. Very cool. Alright, so next up we have some Ultra Action. This is Ultra Action... Um, Ultraman Taiga... What is this form called? Try stream so he's cool i like that form a lot all right here we go we got some rkf figures we got eternal i got that star wars set last for christmas nice hidobi and i think Jin should be in here yep here's Jin. So we got some Rider Kick figures to review. Uh, speaking of Rider Kick figures, here is the Hybrid Rise set. Which is pretty cool. You can actually make the different forms with this. I guess there's four forms. You can make Rising Hopper, Flaming Tiger, Freezing Bear, Biting Shark, and Flying Falcon. Or you can just make your own crazy combos. Which is kind of a neat idea. This is like the only way to make the forms. They're not making the forms individually, like in the, uh, you know, RKF line. RKF, as far as I know, is getting basically the main five characters. No variations, no suits, uh, except his power-up form. Actually, I think the Shining Hopper base form isn't even getting an RKF, but the, like when he puts the thing on the end and, and basically this thing to show this off again this is getting an rkf but not just shiny hopper on its own so i don't know rkf's being stingy this year i was hoping for like a punching kong for for vulcan but they're all gonna be in uh in soda so it's fine but anyway this will be fun i think this will be cool uh oh here you go <laughs> here you go john kit cats so let's see, we got, uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. I'm assuming this is Ocha. Uh, the green one I'm assuming is green tea, but I don't know. This one looks like maybe, is this onions? That can't be right. No, I think it's chestnuts. For a second, it looked like a red onion, and I was like, that can't be right. But anyway, here you go, Kit Kats. Is the black one Tokyo Banana? I don't know. Uh, Ika Kakaona? I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know what they are. Matt says Kitter Major scans tomorrow. That'd be nice. I'd definitely be down for that. I'm getting a memory card for Christmas for my phone so I can make more videos. Awesome. That's awesome, bud. Eat it, eat it, eat it. What? Oh, you want me to eat it right now? No, I'm not going to eat it right now. I'm... Okay, see you in a minute, bud. Uh, Alright, let's see. What else we got? What else we got? We got the Masterpiece Bumble... This is just Bumble version 2. Not Bumblebee. Bumble. <laughs> I don't, is he not called Bumblebee? I feel like he is. 
I don't know. But this is another one that someone, like, right away got him out of the box and was like, his weird hip thing slid off and now, his, you know, he, he's broken. And I'm like, for as much as these cost, these things should be forged in steel. They should not break at all. I should be able to kill someone with these things. Not really, obviously, it's a joke. But, I mean, they should be solid. They should not be fragile. <laughs> hey, Orville. Thanks for joining. All right, somebody, I believe, asked about the Max Reusol Changer. What's up, Adam Prime? So there you go. Excited for this one. This should be fun. Definitely will be checking that out. Uh, another one I will definitely be checking out. Shining Hopper. Was just watching Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Nice. Maybe that's Takara's plan. Don't they want to kill the Masterpiece line? That's what I kind of feel like they do, honestly. Um, the price just keeps going up as the quality goes down. And that's like a recipe for disaster. Like, I really feel like they just keep making them more expensive. Like, there's no way they'll pay that much. And then when everyone buys it, they're like, all right, I guess we'll just keep making them. And then, and then they gouge us again. And they're like, I can't believe they keep falling for this. But anyway, Shining Hopper, excellent. Got some more little Ultra Cars. We got uh, Zeton and Ginga. Oh, nice. You're making a video about Lost Galaxy? Very cool. All right, let's see. What is in this? This says Common Rider 01 uh, Sound Raw Grise Keys Series GP uh, Raw Grise Keys 04. Uh, Shining Hopper. It was. I don't remember, to be honest. I think it was like at night no maybe i really don't remember i apologize but like if it was supposed to come out that friday i feel like it was like the next saturday like the next day saturday all right so let's see i don't remember what's supposed to be in number four um Well, it looks like I got two freezing bears. I don't know. I'll have to open one. Where is my knife? I don't know. HLJ's weird. I wish you could just, like, get one of each. But I think there were only three different ones. I don't know. GP4, I really don't remember. But there should be... Should be a little thing inside that will tell me what the assortment was. Awesome freezing bears. Oh, what's up with going on here? Hey, action figure expert. What did it say? How the hell? What's up? What's going on? How are you doing? Miss you. <laughs> Hello. Uh, why do you get the Gashapon? Well, because there's things that are exclusive to the Gashapon. And I can't miss out. Although, half the time I buy the Gashapon, I'm going to miss out anyway. Because they don't give me everything. Alright. This is something. Okay, this is the weird dinosaur looking thing. So let's see, there is, uh, uh, freezing, oh, freezing bear, okay, obviously, um, that must be this one. Yeah, okay, so that's the one that I got. And then the next one was 
Shurayim Favicon. Oh, okay. So there, there wasn't really anything that I care about except for this one that I just opened. So that's fine. So I will put this to the side and I will put that together later. Basically, in the assortment, there was Freezing Bear, Flying Falcon, and the one that was unique to it. But I believe this one that was unique to it is going to be in that DX set they're doing, which I didn't know at the time when I ordered it, but I don't mind having both of them. Uh, let's see. I have a final and a presentation tomorrow and two finals next week, and I'll be done for the year. Darn, that's a lot of stuff. Isn't the point of eBay and Amazon Japan get what you want not the whole case yeah it is but at the same time um, because of the way these are now you can't see if they're metallic or not until you open them uh, your chance of getting a metallic from HLJ is astronomically better than it was so I don't I don't mind the metallic ones and it's literally like $20 for four of these and I feel like by the time I would buy one on Mandarake or something it'd be about the same price so, it's not that big a deal. So, let me put these aside. Anyway, that's that. So much trash. Yes, I do. I do like the shiny things. All right, next up we have some Ultraman vinyls. There's uh, this dude with the duck bill. He seems cool. There is this dude with the mohawk, also pretty cool. And then there is, this guy's my favorite, because he's so ridiculous. He's like an armadillo or something, but look, his hands are all the way up there, and there's no way they can reach anything. They spin around, which is completely worthless. It's, I mean, that's like T-Rex hands to a whole new level of uselessness. So, I don't know. All right, let's see what else we got. There's still a lot in here. We got the Force Riser. Oh, yeah. So that's going to be sweet. I'm running. I have no room to put things anymore. Let's see. It does look like Godzilla, Adam. I agree. Yeah, I would really like to watch Taiga. If it would get subbed. This is, uh, oh, I know what these are. These are the movable resoles. These should be fun. If I can open Man, all the rest of this is like Soto. Add to the mountain. That didn't go anywhere where I wanted it to go. All right, so let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I think we got a pretty good assortment. So I have a red, a blue, black and pink, green and gold. So I should have gotten one of each. So that's cool. I'll have to put those together. Little movable reuse holes. Uh, I even have two extras. I have a black and pink extra, so that's cool. Put them over here. All right. Oh, here's one more thing. This is the Attach Arrow. I love these little things. I love these little briefcase. I think this is it. I think we're getting three and we're done, but I love them. I would continue to buy them. If they want to make one for other various items. The red one looks like a rejected Digimon. Yeah, Mill Creek will probably, as soon as Taiga's done, they'll probably bust it out right away. I wonder if it's just not doing well for Gen Corp to not sub it. I don't know. I really don't know. Hey, not Ultra. The Orb Origin Blu-ray is already 11 on Amazon. Yeah, that's sweet. Definitely pre-order that, because 11 bucks is a great deal. Uh, did I get Hybrid Rise? Yes, I did. Where is it? Here it is. Whoop. Josh Perry! 
Howdy. Howdy, howdy. Josh, you're just in time for your favorite part of the entire box. Soto. Uh, let's see. First thing here, we got Soto Chronicle Combo Change 1. A.K.A. O's. Let's see. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, this is basically O's head with all of his little extra bits. And then we got uh, the head and torso for Gata Kiriba. So that's actually kind of, actually, that's nice. So they give you two of Gata Kiriba's legs so that you can do Tataba and Gata Kiriba. Well done, Soto. Well done. I don't know why they give me two. I don't need two of Tataba's head, though. Do I? Josh, way in here. You're the Soto Master. Common Rider Zero One, Shining Hopper, get a new weapon is a combo weapon. Yes, the axe slash gun thing. Have I started Pokemon yet? I actually just started last night, John. I am behind on Lightning Collection. So is Taka the one with the sword? Yes. Yeah, Taco has the O's Calibur, the two uh, Grasshopper springy legs, and then the claws for... Now, I can't tell if they're the claws for deployed or not deployed, because it's hard to... I picked the little water chameleon dude. See, again, they give you... That's such a weird choice. Oh, no, 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 no. This is right. They give you Latorata's head and chest so you can do Tataba and Latorata. See, that's good. Sobel, yes, that's his name. And then this is Latorata's feet. So you should be able to make these 100%, right? And then there's all the two pieces for Sagozo. So you should be able to do Sagozo, Latorata, Tataba, and Gatakiriba, no problem. That's awesome. I love that Soto is conscious of this now. And uh, they don't leave you, you know, holding the bag with pieces so you can't do all the forms at once. Well done, Soto. Gonna have to add this to the mountaintop. Speaking of excellent things that Soto is doing, AI02. So we got Tiger, Punching Kong, Freezing Bear. Valkyrie and uh, Perfect Kingdom Greece. So that's awesome. Definitely that's going to be... That's probably going to be... I'm in the middle of um, Soto Chronicle for Deno. So when that's done, I'm probably going to do uh, AI 2. Because I like that. This should be Re Soldier 3. I got Shadow, BM Red, and Goldar. Marvelous Prime. Off topic stream question, but will you ever do a video of your collection of how you do reviews and edit them? Uh, probably not of how I do reviews because that's not really interesting. It's literally just, you know, point the camera at something and then the most basic editing there is because I'm not good at that um I do I always want to do a collection room video but it's always in such a mess I just have too much stuff <laughs> and that's coming from me but um I want to like every time I try to clean it and I get it somewhat clean it just becomes a mess again but one day that would be fun all right, so another Reusol Red. They love space bags. 
Unless, by space bag, do you mean the bag contains a separate dimension that I can set up a display in? Because then, yes. Um, so we get another red and another gold. You get two golds. Why do we have two golds? Oh, so we can do armors. We have black armor. We have... I see. The two, the two raptor armors. I see. So we want to put... One of the blacks on there, one of the whites on him, and then we also have the punching never filmed. What did I say? Go watch Dawson's old room tour. It was a mess too. Plus, remember you never filmed in your parents' bathroom. That's true. I have never filmed in my parents' bathroom. Who needs space bags when you have bag milk? Another good point. I like these guys. I'm glad they give you two of these little foot soldier dudes. I'm going to keep both of them. So yeah, I'll have to see how that works. You get a ton. You get three of the white raptor and two of the black raptor. So I'll have to figure out what I need to keep and what's extra. But we have those. And we have... What is this? Oh, this is progress keys. I just naturally assumed it was Soto. How many lights do you use to get your background lighting perfect? Also thoughts on Earthrise. My background lighting is far from perfect. I have two like desk lamps. Um, Earthrise looks fun. All right, so we have a flying falcon, which I don't need. A, oh, this is the bat. The bat's cool. Then we have a mammoth, which I don't need. And then we have a beetle. So I really just need the bat. But I have four bats. So I'm going to be selling much of this box. <laughs> I need one bat, and the rest, I guess, I'll be selling. Because that is very much more than I need. Don't fall over. Don't fall over. Okay. A couple more things. Hey, what's up, Randy? Oh, I don't think you'll have to call dibs, dude. There's so many. Do the Resoldier Foot Soldiers have a name? Never heard Creon say it. I don't know. I don't really know. Just get a, a Toku Pocket. That would be very handy. Do you have kids? No, I do not. Dibs on bat. Randy, there's so many bats. You don't even know. It's like the bat cave up in that box. Where is my knife? All right, these are anima gears, which I still never did the one that Corey sent me. But these look kind of cool. So we have the Galeo Strike. So these are like repaints of the first wave, basically. Galeo Striker Onyx, which is a pretty cool repaint. Uh, and then you have this dude, which is like the... Uh, beetle guy. He's pretty cool. And then there's an eagle, and then there's this lobster thing. Arms Gillatecker Abyss. It is a lobster of some kind. So there's that. There's two of each, so I'll have to see how these go. Obviously, I'll keep at least one of each. We'll see how that goes. I have to do the one that Corey gave me. Really running out of room. All right. Oh, what's this? This is GP5, which I didn't even know that I had. So there is that. What's up, Nick? All right. Let's see. Oh, God. The box is freaking out. It's going to knock my camera over. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there's a super colorful one. So this is a gray one. What is this? Oh, this is probably Mammoth. 
So I probably want this one. I don't remember what's in this assortment. But I'm pretty sure the gray one's Mammoth and there's a light green one which is most likely Beetle. Let's see if I can get this open. The answer is no, I cannot get her open. Uh, I don't know, man. I was... Same stuff. Different day. Buying toys. Trying to review toys in a timely fashion. Failing miserably. Having giant stockpile of toys you never catch up on. Rinse, repeat. Also, Pokemon. Alright, let's see. I actually did finally beat Luigi's Mansion 3, which I was pretty proud of, because that took me a while. Alright, let's see. This is... What is this? I don't know what this is. I literally can't tell what that is. Some kind of animal? Some kind? They're all animals, so that's not really a help. I don't I don't know what this is supposed to be. I really don't. I'll have to figure that out. Even with the word, I can't tell you what this is. Vincaya? Magia? Vicaria. I don't know what that is. I still don't know. And I'm dropping it. But it's one of the Magia ones, so I wanted it. Let's see what was in this assortment as I try to read Katakana. So, Breaking Mammoth. Yes, I definitely got two Breaking Mammoths. Um, amazing Hercules, which I got one of those as well. And then the Bicardia... And then just two metallics. Okay, so basically some of these might be metallic. We'll find out. I don't know. But luckily I did not get shortchanged on anything. So that's good. Oh, that went everywhere. That's over there. We'll worry about that later. Alright, comments I'm probably missing. Wish I had a giant stockpile of... Stockpile? Yep. Wish I had a giant stockpile of toys I'd never catch up on. Been doing a lot of Gundam kits. Yeah, Gundam kits. Uh, depends if they got big old anime titles. That's an oldie but a goodie. It is. Alright, how long can you... How long can't stay long should have... What is that? I don't know. Hello, by the way, but I... Unless I just can't read it. I don't know what you said. All right, this is Shoto X5, which I should have received a long time ago, but they HLJ'd me, but then they randomly got it back in, so I was able to get it. So we have black, we have black RX, we have the two motorcycles, so it looks like you would get an extra black, black RX, and one motorcycle. Cool. So that's good. I was finally able to get those. Because I really like Black and Black RX. So I definitely wanted them. Alright. Last thing in the box. It is Mini Pla for Ryu Soldier. Oof. It is Yoku Ryuo. If I'm saying that incorrectly, I probably am. Yoku Ryuo. So, yeah, you get three full sets. It literally just makes Yoku Ryuho. Yoku Ryuo. Why do I say you hold? I don't know, that's not right. Yoku Ryuo. Yeah. But anyway, boom! There he is. He has a little egg form, his little pterodactyl form, and you can combine him with the other guys. 
which is pretty cool. So I will have two sets that I'll probably sell because I don't need three. Is there a double of him? Yes. Like I just said, there are three full sets. Hello, bud. I'll buy a set of him off you. Boom. There's one set sold. The magic of the internet. All right. That's it for this box. I want to get rid of the box. But I can't fit. Don't knock over my camera box flap. Don't do it. Ew, okay. So there you go. How's that sales start on Twitter going? You know it, Cody. It is not going anywhere. No, I actually sold... Um, I finally sold my... Uh, you don't know. The Shinkalion thing. The Shinka gear. I've been trying to sell that forever. A very nice gentleman bought that for me. I'm very excited. What the heck is that? Is that dust? Uh, so yeah, so I'm about to build another mini plot mountain right here. <laughs> so much stuff. Have you advertised on Facebook or eBay? No, I haven't. I, I like to just sell things on, uh, yeah, Masterpiece, la, 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 Masterpiece Raiden. Is it really Masterpiece? Like, that's what I was confused about, because to me, I just thought they were doing it like they're doing the Seacons. So I don't know how that's going to work. Are they just calling it Masterpiece, but it's going to be like the Seacons? I don't know. But either way, I'm interested, because I've wanted a Raiden for a very long time, so definitely intrigued by that. A Masterpiece in the works. Yeah, I just... How's that going to work? <laughs> like, I'm wondering if they're just going to call Masterpiece like a catch-all for, like, generations. At least that's what I'm, I'm hoping. It's just, like, Combiner Wars level. Yeah, I don't really need it to be, I agree with John. I don't need it to be Masterpiece. I want it to be, like, the C, like the Seacons they're doing are perfect, you know. Just throw it under Generations or what Legends, whatever you want to call it. And then just do it, like, Combiner Wars-esque. Because the Seacons look really cool. I'm excited for the Seacons. Um, and I want a Raiden. I don't know. Because to me, Masterpiece... is it, It's going to be six combining Masterpiece figures? How's that going to work? Yeah, that's the thing. I need it to be sturdy. If it's going to be a combiner, it needs to be sturdy. And Masterpiece figures are not super sturdy. At least in my opinion. At least not the, the way they've been going. So. We'll see. Um, yeah, so, let's see, I got a lot of stuff here, <laughs> be on the lookout, I'm gonna do, I got those Masters of the Universe figures, I got NECA Ninja Turtles, I got those weird Toy Biz 90s figures, I've got everything from this box, I might do the uh, Imagine X figures, maybe I'll just do the two of them together. Definitely, definitely excited to, for this guy. We'll just leave him right there. A moderator. Why do you need to be a... Why do you need moderator? We don't need moderators. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's making a ton of sheen. Look how shiny he is. To be fair, he is called Sparking Giraffe. So that makes sense. Yeah, it is kind of a bummer. That's why Cody said, oh, I missed the last ever Long's Toy Stream. And I was like, quite possibly. <laughs> Jimmy Neutron jokes. That's old school. So, yeah, I got a lot of uh, mini plus stuff, a lot of Soto stuff. But I'm really excited. I, I definitely feel more excited about Soto, whereas before I was like, oh, look at this chore I have to do. I feel like they're really doing a nice uh, job with everything, and the stickering hasn't been too bad. Like I said, I'm in the middle of Soto Chronicle Deno, 
and uh, it wasn't really that bad. I did uh, sword form in like half an hour or something like that. I mean, to be fair, I'm very like OCD. Like I have to make sure the stickers are down and fill as much of like the little crevices that you can so they really adhere to it. Because I don't seal them because I don't really want to mess with like nail polish or anything like that. But I want to make sure that the stickers like get on as much as possible so they stay on since I don't seal them. Um, Gundam markers. I could... Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Do you like reusals? Yeah, they're not bad. I just got the... Um, uh, the movable ones. So I'll have to check them out. I think I actually got one of... Um, these these little movable dudes. I think I got one of it, all six. So I actually didn't get HL Jade on that. So I'm very excited. I'm just reading comments now. Uh, hey bud, I'm not... I mean, we're just not going to bother with moderators. I think we're all good here. So please stop asking about the moderator. Um, but yeah, anyway, I don't know. That's, that's it for the box. That's it for the other things that I bought recently. So it was good. I was caught up before this box came in for the most part because I'm very much, uh, <laughs> don't, don't worry about it, bud. Technically, I guess people would call it spamming, but you're fine. Just, just be chill. We're all chill. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I got a lot of stuff going on. And whenever I get caught up on this stuff, there's always going to be mini pla and uh, Soto stuff to do on the horizon. So, yeah, so just stay tuned. And as far as the changes in January, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I just mark myself as for kids. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I don't know. Hopefully you guys will still watch. You won't be notified or anything, but I feel like if you're still subscribed, you should just be able to go look and see, um, you know, when I put up new stuff. So you'll, you'll just have to check the feed. Let's do another one before the end. Yeah, I'll try to do one more. I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like they had that new, um... Like, I guess the FTC came back and answered some questions, and they're like, well, you know, there really should be, like, a mixed audience button, uh, but YouTube would have to put that in place, and until they do, I feel like I kind of have to mark my stuff as for kids, because even though, I mean, I was thinking about it the other day, I was like, is my stuff meant for kids? Is it meant for adults? And I was like, it's not really meant for anyone in particular, it's meant for whoever will watch it. That's, <laughs> I'm not picky. Whoever will watch my content is welcome. So, like, I don't want to exclude kids, but I don't want to, I don't cater to kids. You know what I mean? So, I was like, I can't really say my content is made for one or the other. It's made for whoever. It's made for anyone. Everyone and anyone. So, I definitely feel like if there was a, a middle ground or a, or a mixed audience option, I would 100% choose that because I feel like that's definitely for me. But until that exists, I feel like I have to err on the side of caution and just say it's meant for kids. Um, it does sound like that the FTC is not going after the little guys. They're not trying to bankrupt anybody. All that fine stuff was just saying... And I always knew it said it could be up to 42 and I was like, they're never going to try to come and give me $42,000 fine because they know I don't have it. <laughs> you can't squeeze blood from a stone. So I knew they were never going to come after me, but I just, I didn't want to get the channel deleted because like it's been years and I put a lot of time into this. So like I didn't want anything to get deleted. I didn't want to be forced to take anything down. Um, so I kind of just figured, let's just say we're for kids but I do feel like there it's not as doom and gloom as it first seemed. Because when they first it just happened, and I will say it was YouTube's fault, because YouTube was not giving any kind of directions. They weren't giving any guidance. And I think it's because they wanted to stay out of it because they don't want to advise someone. And then later on it blows up in their face and then that person tries to sue them. Like, it could become a whole thing. So, like, I get it why they didn't want to step in. They just wanted to be like, here are the rules. Okay, bye. You know, it's on you. 
Especially since they already got fined like 170 million or whatever it is. And I don't want this to turn into a COPPA video, but I think just for the time being, I'm going to put myself as for kids. I'll see how January goes. You know, if everything's just kind of getting fired out into a void and no one's watching it, you know, maybe then I'll try to go through each video individually and do some as kids, not kids. Because, like, there's lots of stuff that I do that, like, I'm an adult collector and it appeals to me like the Imagine X stuff. It appeals to me. I think it's cool. Does it appeal to kids? Of course. It's it's meant for children. It's 100% meant for children just because I happen to like it. But when I do a video for that, like in when I think about it, I would think when I do a review of Imagine X toy, it would be more for an older adult only because like they have channels that do like the people playing with the Imagine X toys and that's clearly for children. So when I do it, I do like a straight review for other people like me who want to know what features does the toy have. I mean, with Imagine X, they almost all have the same features, but... So, like, I don't know. Like, some things I would say are probably geared more towards adults, but some things are probably geared towards both. So I think if YouTube ever comes out with a mixed audience option, I will 100% change to that, and because I really do feel like that matches the best. But that doesn't exist yet, so I feel like I gotta just do for kids, and we'll see how it goes. I don't know. I mean, I could try to say not for kids, but if I do... Like, I don't know. I guess I just... If I, if I answer honestly, I feel like I can't say... I don't know. It's a real weird middle ground thing. Like, I can't say it's for kids. I can't say it's not for kids. It's just... I just make it, and whoever watches it, awesome. Blame Corey. Uh, FTC's fault. Drax, nothing will fly over my head. My reflexes are too fast. Should more concern the creator of YouTube than themselves. Did Josh die? Oh, but Josh has been defeated. Ke That's probably true. He's off with Keyshawn somewhere. So yeah, anyway, like I said, I'm not trying to focus on Coppa too much, but I definitely don't think it's as scary as it was because they kind of came back and said specifically, like, if you play video games and you intend it for adults, you probably will be fine. Like, they did make some some hard distinctions where they said, like, you know, if you're doing only collector stuff, toys for adults, and you know it's for adults then that's fine. You can you can say it's not meant for children and we'll the context will play. And so like people who are definitely older toys, like maybe nostalgic toys, someone like retro blasting, someone like that, they're definitely geared towards adults because they're talking about toys from 30 years ago. I think he could definitely make a case, yes, I'm directed at adults. It's nostalgia, you know, like kids could watch it, but it's definitely geared towards adults. And I think he would be fine. But for me, I do, like, contemporary stuff. And I mean, oh, yeah, like, an American kid couldn't import toys from Japan, but these are toys meant for Japanese children, <laughs> ages under 13. So I can't really say my stuff's not made for kids. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I'm just saying the same thing over and over again. In any case... Yo, what's up? Yeah, yeah, Hassan. I feel like that's that's kind of where I'm at. Like, I think I'm just going to give January and just see how it goes. And then, you know, if, if I get destroyed in January, then maybe I'll try to to check it out. And maybe I'll, more, I'll, I'll tweak the re reviews going forward and say, like, yes, this is a contemporary toy, but you know, this is an adult-based review or a, a geared at adults. Because there was some line in there, something about, like, if you're making videos, like, to help adults pick what toys to buy their kids, then it's meant for adults. So maybe I could take that angle. Maybe I could say, like, oh, hey, I'm, I'm doing reviews, you know, letting you know what's hot to buy. And then I could, in, in my review of the toy at the end, I could say, like, okay, parents, I think your kids will like this one give it a go or something like that maybe i could make tweaks like that i don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes but in any case um i think from now on i'm just going to wait it out and see in the meantime i've got a ton of stuff to do here 
Mini Plot and Soto and Ryder and a little bit of Ultraman. Not really any. Se well, I got the Max Resol Changer. Where did he end up? He's over there somewhere. I'll find him. Oh, he's right here. He's right next to me. So, I think I'm probably going to get going because I should be watching television with my wife. Uh, maybe there are ways of having disclaimers. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I kind of want to wait and let somebody else be the guinea pig. <laughs> and if like a couple months go by and everyone seems okay, I I'm honestly hoping, what I'm secretly hoping, when everyone marks their stuff as for kids because they don't want to get in trouble and YouTube takes a huge hit in the money department, they'll go, we need to come up with a mixed audience option. And then they'll do that, and they'll implement that, and we can all just choose mixed audience. And, you know, maybe some of the ads will still be light, but we'll get comments back, and we'll get end cards, and the other stupid things are taken away for no reason. That's kind of, because I don't really care about the money. I just want to get my comments, and my watermarks, and my end cards, and, and live streams, and all that stuff back. You know what I mean? So I'm hoping they eventually just come up with a mixed audience option because I'll choose that all day. I feel like that's 100% fair to say that it appeals to both. And if you do need to make some tweaks into what ads you play or whatever, that's fine with me. Just give me my features back. Give me my tools back. That's what I want. In any case, I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have a lot of stuff to get doing. So I'm going to go ahead and get working on that. And I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving for those who celebrated. And we are chugging along into December. It's going to be Christmas before you know it. We'll see how that goes. But um, I need someone help. I need someone help. That's all I know from this. <laughs> all right, Cody. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll try to do at least one more before the end of the year just in case. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to go away at least for a while. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Probably the next time I get big box of stuff which should be sometime or maybe we'll build some random sort of stuff we'll see anyway thank you guys for joining have a good night and um oh mmpr toys has a train channel now he does bruno does love trains that is funny um yes okay so good night thank you all for joining and how do i turn this off Oh, that's, you can see my finger really big. <laughs> God, that looks weird. That's really, it makes me look like E.T. Like my finger is massive. That's crazy. Okay, I'm rambling. Goodbye, guys. Have a good night.